look at the sky i see an unknown object flying by oh no this is giant maybe an alien spaceship is flying over the city this seems to be a flying saucer moving with tremendous speed i saw aliens in real life they're huge in size with a large head enough of this let's keep it up to here hey viewers welcome to my video i think you all have clearly guessed about our topic of today's video is going to be on aliens and ufo so do aliens really exist what about the truth behind ufo clips and alien abduction cases why are all the aliens did aliens landed on the ancient egypt is area 51 hiding aliens what is fermi's paradox all about does drake's equation solve the number of total intelligent alien civilizations of our galaxy how are the alien civilizations? Is the great filter a reason why we aren't seeing aliens? Why aren't we able to contact with them? Or how close are we to find those extraterrestrials? If these questions are spinning in your mind, then you are in the right video to get started. Let's figure it out now. Starting with the basics. What is alien and UFO? Aliens are those who are not from our own planet, Earth, or any other living beings from other planets or any extraterrestrial beings. On the other hand, UFO refers to the abbreviation of the word unidentified flying objects that can be either alien spacecrafts or any other strange and unknown man-made flying objects. Let us get into our main topic now. Aliens and UFO are main interest of people from a long time. We usually see different clips of UFO and aliens on YouTube and sometimes we also hear stories of alien abduction cases. But 99% of these videos are fake and only meant for becoming popular and seeking of people's interest or sometimes just an illusion from natural events. You can notice them if you judge it to perfection carefully. The remaining 1% refers to somewhat real or contain varied points actually goes to the researchers and they are not revealed as often. If revealed, we generally get only a slight chance of knowing the actual things as these clips are hard to find out. Moving things further to Egypt, we have some interesting things to look at. Some ancient drawings of Egypt suggest that aliens landed on Egypt 6,000 years ago and are responsible for their advanced development as a civilization according to the ancient narrators. Look at these pictures. They look like alien spaceships, right? But the researchers fail to provide a proper explanation regarding it, whether it is just a cultural thing or spaceship. Same goes with Area 51. No clues or valid points have been found out that the aliens are hidden there. Losing your hopes? Don't worry, now it's the time for revealing real-time possibilities about aliens. We live on Earth, a planet with enough water and accurate distance from Sun to support life. The universe is very large. It contains millions of galaxies and the galaxy contains billions of stars. In star system, there are thousands of Earth-like planets to support life. Some may contain intelligent life as well. But why couldn't we communicate with them? We normally look for radio signals from the space, but if aliens are so advanced and technologically developed, they may find radio signal emission as backdated technology and may be using some other ways for communication. Think of using Morse code in 2018. You are sending signals, but no one is receiving or answering to it. The technological limitation might be a reason why we are not able to establish communication with them. Moving things further, let us get introduced to Drake equation. In 1961, Frank Drake proposed this equation to estimate the total number of intelligent alien civilizations. Let us concentrate especially on our own Milky Way galaxy as anything outside our own local galaxy cluster is not imaginable to us as the dark energy is expanding the universe and moving things further. Here's the equation. n equals to r star into f sub p into n sub b 
into f sub l into f sub i into f sub c into l. Here n means number of civilizations in the Milky Way in which communication is possible. R star means average date of star formation. F sub p means fraction of stars with planets. N sub b means average number of planets that can support life. F sub l means fraction of planets that can go on to support life. F sub i fraction of the planets that can support intelligent life. F sub c means fraction of the civilizations that can develop communicable technology. L means length of time to release detectable signals to space. As the value of the factors are variable, the result changes according to the change of the value of each factor. The range varies from 1000 to 100 million alien civilizations. According to the Kardashev scale, civilizations are classified into three types. These are type 1, type 2 and type 3 civilizations. In type 1 civilizations, the living beings can make 100% utilization of the planetary resources. Whereas, humans of the earth can utilize only 0.73% of the total planetary resources available in the earth. Again, type 2 civilization can utilize full resource of its own star. A type 3 civilization is called galactic civilization and are able to colonize the entire galaxy. After all these things, the question comes, why are all these aliens? This is the Fermi paradox. If you don't know, a paradox is a proposition which can be acceptable with some reasonings but leads to logically impossible events and nobody has a proper answer to it. The Fermi paradox was proposed by Enrico Fermi. One possible answer to it may be the great filter. To make things simple, it is such a barrier which is hard for a life or a civilization to overcome. For example, let's think the filter was behind us. Then it may indicate that it is very hard for life to form and develop and evolution of species to take place. However, bacteria can survive in, in extreme conditions. Again, let us think the filter is ahead of us. Then it may indicate that civilization can exist only up to a certain limit. The cause may be nuclear wires, highly advanced technology to solve problem and if activated they can destroy everything and the civilization is doomed advanced super intelligent AI or climate change. If this is the case, then we may have hard time finding alien civilizations even with advanced technologies. Let's keep it up to here. If you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Here goes more videos like this. Thanks for watching.